So, um, hello and uh, welcome to a short video showing some R&D work in Blitz Game Studios on responsive characters. What we have here is one of our test characters, Kitsu, and you can see her being moved directly through an emotional state. Um, we've got the debug display up to make things obvious. What we're shooting for here is a character whose state you can visually read and you can follow the changes of state, moving from, in this case, angry into sad. The important thing is that it's a, an immediate response, an adaptive response, and that it's a response that you don't need a heads-up display or training in the game to understand. That it's something that if you've grown up around people, you should be able to read these expressions. That's what we're shooting for. Something that makes characters engaging, inclusive, um, people that you kind of would, would want to spend time with in a, in a game environment. You can see here that we're using a combination of um, states, uh, a small number of animations actually, and then procedural systems that control uh, Kitsu's movement in different characters. So there you saw her responding very snappily to camera movements, changes of cameras, because she was pretty annoyed. In a sad state, we're using the same systems, but she has a slower, more languid response, a damped down response. Um, those are movements where we're controlling her movement through emotional space directly with a debug. What's more likely to happen in a game environment is that the objects in the environment, other characters, have the influence. So in this case, here you see a bat that Kitsu doesn't like. Immediately this appears. It becomes a, a point of interest, a point of focus, and she reacts to it in a way that's hopefully immediately clear to an observer so they can tell how she feels about things. Here we see a butterfly that she's much more fond of. And what you'll see here is, is not only that she kind of reacts in a positive way that hopefully anyone can read and understand that this is something she likes, but you get a little more storytelling. When the thing she likes is removed, in this case the butterfly's phone off, it doesn't just make a neutral. She's sad for a while because she's lost something she likes. Of course, the whole environment is an object as well. And so if we make an environmental change like forcing night to fall, then that can scare her as well. Um, that's the end of our demo. Thank you very much.